Before we kick things off, I wanna explain this episode real quick. This was over a course of a day and a half. It was a rough day and a half of fishing, but out of the whole trip to have just like this little rough patch went pretty good, but I wanted to still post this video to keep it real to you guys and just show you guys how the trip went from start to finish. So let's roll it. Palm Beach in Southern Florida. With its inlets and launches, it is known for a multitude of species. Snapper, tarpon, marlin, and snook, to name but a few. But amidst the calm Florida breeze and warm sun, lurks the ultimate expeditionist, the infamous Tommy McGrath. On this trip, however, Tommy will target the formidable predators of the North Atlantic Ocean bull sharks, stingrays, and the enormous goliath groper, as well as black tip sharks that arrive in the shallow waters of Palm Beach in their thousands from January to March. There will be many obstacles that will have to be overcome throughout these adventures, but with the help of his companions Justin and Casey, Tommy is confident of success. They'll need to work together in order to be efficient. Combining their many years of fishing experience and knowledge gained on countless voyages, if they are to have any chance of overcoming the beasts that lurk in these waters. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. We are in the beautiful Palm Beach, Florida. As you can see behind me, we got the ocean. We're gonna be beach fishing for some spinner and black tip sharks tonight. Hopefully we can get it done. Huge shout out to Follow the Action for sponsoring and paying for this entire series. I couldn't do it without you guys. So if you guys do want to get anything on followtheaction.com, be sure to use promo code McGrathFish to save 20% off on your entire order. I'm gonna set this camera down so it doesn't get full of sand. I'm gonna get the drone up real quick before it gets too dark. And then we are going to start shark fishing right behind us right off the beach. This is the first time this trip we were actually going straight off the beach like this. So hopefully it pays off. And also for bait, we were using a giant jack that Casey actually caught earlier with Justin Stingray. That's on the actual last episode. And now it's tonight. So we're gonna be doing a lot of fishing tonight. Hopefully it pays off. Here we go. All right, guys, we are actually at the boat ramp spot now. We couldn't really fish that spot, unfortunately, because we don't wanna really get soaked at night. We're gonna go back to that spot a different day where we can actually go out in the water a little bit to get our baits out pretty far. And I couldn't fly the drone at night too to find where the school is. So we kind of just walked out to the beach blind casting so it'd be a lot better if we were actually able to find at least where the school's kind of at and we're going to be doing that with my dji mavic air 2 but for right now we're going to start fishing this boat ramp spot hopefully for a bull shark a uh, stingray nurse shark pretty much any type of shark we really want to hammer these sharks tonight so hopefully we can get it done we're going to actually be using this jack again which which casey caught earlier we're actually going to walk out to the pier right now and fling our baits off so i will tune in with you guys in just a little bit Been here. I just got this rod in. I'm eating beef turkey. I just got this rod in. Probably is the mic working? Yeah. Literally put this rod in five minutes ago. There it is. Justin! Justin, this is big, dude. This is the locked rag right now, too. Oh my God, guys, this is crazy. First five minutes of a rod down. I have a big piece of cut bait of a jack that Casey actually put or caught earlier when Justin caught that ray, previous episode. And we are hooked up. This is a big one, guys. I really hope this is something different than a nurse shirt, but I'd be okay with both because now that we got low tide right now, I thought the bite was gonna be pretty good over here. And there's kind of like a little corner of a beach behind me. We'll show you guys. If I can get it to that, that'd be an awesome picture. Which is a great spot to land it to keep the shark healthy and a great revive too rather than bringing it to the boat ramp but i'm also not gonna be able to control where the shark goes so that's best case scenario worst case have to be over there but I'm calling Justin is he in the shitter mm -hmm. casey this is huge dude casey this is huge yo hurry just uh, tommy's on justin right i have a 
giant, it's, dude. It's monstrous. Come on, quick. All right. TC, do you think I should go over there? Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Just run with it, run with it. Run with it. I'm gonna get stuck in the wood over there. Just run with it. You gotta be quick about it. You can't stop. You just gotta run. You gotta run. Not a boy. I'm gonna get stuck in the wood now for sure. Hop and run. Pop and run. Keep that tip high. Oh my god, I thought it was off. Go on there. That's good. Huge eagle right too, dude. Popped. On here too. Damn it, dude, that one was huge. I should have stayed, dude. All right, guys, so it took a giant run. Can't really tell you the direction, but it took a giant run out. I had to get around like three different docks, concrete pillar, and the concrete broke me off because I couldn't see anything where I was running or anything. But it was huge. Yo, why is this elevator so nice and the other one's like raggedy? Raggedy asshole. All right, guys, this is the next morning. Uh, we walked to three different harbors last night. No sign of any jacks, so we really couldn't do anything with those last night. And also, after I lost that one shark, we did not get one more bite for us of the night. And that's how it was kind of, that was actually how it was the night before. Justin lost a big bull shark and it was the first bite like within the first five minutes. Same thing as what I had last night. Cast my bait out, first few minutes got hit and then I ended up breaking off. And that's what happened to Justin as well. So we are gonna continue this video into today. We are headed back to Sebastian, Florida for some black tips, some bull sharks and whatever else that bites. It is 9.30 right now. We got on the road about an hour and 40 minutes ago. So we will be there in probably about 15, 20 minutes and we will start fishing. We gotta start off catching our own bait again. I am gonna leave the camera in the car and just do the GoPro because we have to be in that long ass pier again with all those people. So we're gonna start off by catching bait and then we are gonna go to the other side of the inlet to fish for the shark. I will tune in with you guys once we get there, but today should be a really good episode, I'm hoping. Any thoughts? Let's slam them. This is on. Right as I drew my GoPro off. Dude, it's giant. All right, I'm here to help. You want me to get from the other side of you? You're on max drag right yeah. now? Watch out, watch out, me, watch me. out. Excuse me. Watch out. Yeah. You got this. Need help. Need help? Come on, Justin. Come on, guys. 
She's running, she's running. It's a giant grouper. Yeah. Giant grouper. I'll be right back. I understand. Yeah. Big ass live. You're good. Right, right side. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh. Hold on, hold him there, if you can. Casey, you gotta grab on really tight, dude. Over here, quick. You got it. Hey, 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 go out. Big fish, go out. Landing it. Getting it to the surface. Hey, boy, Justin. You're good. How are you feeling? Tired as shit. No. Oh. Dude, that was a monster. Good try, man. Good try. Far come here. Giant, giant Goliath. Uh, I'd probably range it two, three hundred pounds. Maybe more. Hard to tell, but definitely wasn't a hundred pounder or anything lower than that. Guys, right, this channel is pretty big, and it was literally all the way out in the middle towards there where that current's ripping. It was on rocks or some what, shit. What pop? Just so you're, that's your notch for a hook. Yeah. No, that's 100 right here. Connecting that probably brushed up against a rock. Look at the hundred sprayed. Justin. Big. Pretty big, yeah. Got the hook set. I got broken off in the pillar for sure. You think that was big? Oh, uh, probably about a, like a hundred pounder. That was decent for sure. I had one for a second and then I got broken off in the pillar, but that's what happens. All right guys, so we got some food a little bit ago. I didn't film any of that. And then we actually went back out to try and get another grouper. Me and Justin did hook up and Justin hooked up on an absolute giant as you guys can tell. We're gonna get a quick word from Justin in a second. But now what we're gonna do, we're on the other side of the inlet and we're gonna be casting for strictly all sharks now. And then when we go back, we're gonna be fishing that boat ramp again for sharks where I lost that. One where you guys actually saw, let's get a quick word from Justine. Yeah, guys, it was a giant grouper uh, hit it in the pilings and just went straight out into the inlet. That's how you know they're huge. Me and Casey couldn't stop it. We were working as a team. He was helping me gain a line, but it got caught in that current. It was just pulling super hard and it ended up taking me in the rocks and snapped off the 400 pound line. So that grouper, people were saying, was anywhere from 400 to 500. Felt like it to me, but nothing we could do. So. It was nice hooking it at least. All right, so I will come back to you guys in the camera when we, I guess when we get out there. So I'm gonna strap in the GoPro, toss for some sharks, and this does not work out. We're gonna be heading back to West Palm about an hour and a half drive away. We are not gonna be bitches about any night. We're gonna stay out. I mean, we've literally been putting our bodies through hell, staying up late, waking up at 6 a.m. and vice versa. We've only slept in one day. And when, when I say slept in, I mean about like, what, 8, 9 a.m. So, all right, I'm gonna shut my mouth. We all wanna go. Here we go. No way. For sure, God, guys, we've been here for five minutes. 100% still on. No, it's not. Not. Were you though? Hell yeah, dude. Heads up. Sure, you don't want to be here anymore? 
<laughs> Dude, that was nuts. Did you see? I couldn't even close my bail. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. We could have landed nine fish yesterday, three Goliath groupers, and six sharks that we just lost. I mean, I want to post this video because this is something where I don't want it to always look like sunshine and rainbows and that we're always slaying because in fishing, this stuff type, like this type of stuff happens all the time. So we had some really good opportunities. Justin had an opportunity for a 400 pounder. I had an opportunity last night that I didn't even get on film because it happened pretty quick of a giant shark so it's gonna happen this trip's been really good though we've caught a bunch of different species we've caught a bunch of big fish and i'm super grateful to be down here i want to give a huge shout out to follow the action for sponsoring and booking this entire trip i could not do this without you guys and this was an absolutely legendary trip so i want to end this video here just because yes no fish were caught but we hooked a lot of fish so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please remember to leave a like hit the subscribe button right down here Two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at 5 o'clock p.m. We are out. Early mornings, late night cruising, up and down the crystal cove and through the uneasy stream. Bass fishing, Corona drinking, we're just out here catching the American dream. Lay back, relax, McGrath fishing is all you need.